Right, so you've all seen the fun that I've had building and sculpting this, right? But obviously I've got loads of extra bits and pieces. Well, I went around my parents the other day and I stole this box off my dad. Now, this box has got loads of stuff in it. Let's start with this little one first of all. Box a bit tatty, okay? Power control unit A3. This is my dad's old three rail Dublo stuff. Now, there's his old power control unit. It's a big old unit, this. It's uh, probably seen better days. I mean, that. I don't even. I don't even know what the hell this sort of plug is. But anyway, there's that. So, anyway, this is what? 210 to 250 volts, 50 80 cycle, 35 watts. 0 to 12 volts, 10 watts DC, 12 volts DC, Alt V E to A, C 15 volts, AC 15 VA, made in England by Meccano. That's for use on alternating current supplies only. Well, I've got no idea if this is going to be any good, but look, look, you got normal, maximum, that's where we want it at, you know, proper motorhead, full volume, right, normal. Off reverse, okay, the maximum reverse. You also got this red light, which I think is if if you get a short circuit, that lights up. Anyway, we'll pop that pop that back into that box for the time being. Okay, I'll I'll have to get that looked at because that'd be quite nice to use that, obviously with a different plug, because that was my dad's. And uh, then we've got this wooden box, the oldy oak. It's not ye oldy oak, it's ye oldy train. So, we've got another power controller here. This is the C3 controller, AC power unit. Now, this one, oh, let's have a look. I mean, look, that's another cool little bit kit, that. Look at that. So, it's just a smaller version of it. All right, so, you got your input and your output. Now, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with with the electrics on there. I've got a couple of other transformers we could use, but let's bring that down and have a closer look. Right, we have got short sections of curved track, long sections of curved track. There's two different radii here, which is me sounding posh, saying radius. There's short uh, versions, straight track, you got like little bits for wiring on. I don't know if it's called terminal track or something, I can't remember. We've got some points. We got oh, all manner in here. Straight track, short and long. Okay, let's just, just pop all the track over here for the time. There is absolutely loads of track. I could do a massive, massive layout with that. But that's not actually what's going to happen. There's some smaller pieces there. Okay, now my dad got this out once from memory when I was a child. So we're talking 40 odd years ago, all right? And it's not been out and played with since. What we've got here. Oh, this is Meccano. This is my old Meccano stuff by the look of it. It could be his. I don't know. Anyways, Meccano. Don't need that. Right, instructions. For running Hornby double O electric trains. I'm gonna pop those over there. Now anyway, so that's all that's all that track. There is some more downstairs. I'll bring you to that later. Let's lift off these little planks. Now my dad got this. Um it was when he went away to boarding school at the age of 12. So 1954-55. So Christmas time. Okay. And he got the Duchess of Montrose layout and so on and it, this was his um parents and grandparents club together now there's his 462 duchess montrose okay in green so that's a that's a duchess class lms and then he later bought himself this uh 264 tank british rail one now this is hornby 003 white rail stuff this is really weighty Really heavy stuff, but look at the engineering. This is cast metal. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
right? Anyway, we'll go back to the bits and pieces. So here we've got a load of, load of control levers, switches, which will go onto the track later. A load of dinky wheels, you don't need that. There you go, that's a tender for the Duchess. We've got all manner of rolling stock. Okay, we've got long wagons. This is all tin plate stuff. We've got coaches. Oh, that's a restaurant car. I mean, look at that. That's, that's printed metal. It's got a real, real nice look and feel and sound to it, to be honest. I mean, look at that. That's, that's printed. It's lovely. So, anyway, keep that there. That's that's rolling stock, and the engines, right? Now, we're going here. Buffer stops, D1 buffer stops. That's these little kiddies. All right, we've got buffers. We've got double signals, color light ones. We got single color light signals. Okay, what's in here? We got bits of all sorts. I don't know what it is. There's bogeys and there's clips and that. It's probably off the back of the track. Okay. We've got that. We've got an empty tin. Some typewriter ribbon. Except it's not empty. Look. That's, um, aren't they? Fingernails? I don't know what the hell that is. Looks like fingernails. Up old Hornby vehicles. Right, so we've got more buffer stops down there. We've got a loading gauge, just bust one. That was mine. I used to play with that when I was um, younger. That was Dad's, but I I played with it for years. Right, so we've got these are really heavy. So mineral wagons. That's cast. These are plated and printed. Right, <laughs> lovely. Uh, we got a, a little flatbed wagon there as well. Look, it's nice. Okay, we've got little oil tankers. It's really nicely made, actually. Uh, what's this? There we go, some covered wagons. Ah, oh, this. Now this, this has got a little look. So you can probably put it on a crane. You probably drop it onto this one. Let's have a look. So, look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. So this is all this stuff. Now, question is... What we can do with it now, Dad. Dad, I managed to get it away from his without too much of an argument. But then apparently he was moaning about it. I oh, was taking my take my train. Oh, I'm moaning to my mum. I used the excuse I was going to do a video with it. I'm actually going to do a lot more. I mean, next day he wanted to know about it, so I modified him by showing him where it was, showing it safe, and showing him mine and running mine around for a bit. So anyway, we'll go downstairs in a minute. Yeah. Okay, well this is why. It's his birthday in just under two weeks and I'm constructing him. First layout he's had in years. Because my mum don't like trains and they're boring. They just go round and round. I like Meccano, I like Lego, I like building models when you're kids. Trains boring. Anyway, what I've done, this is the layout that's on the cover 
the 1955-56 catalogue brochure thing. I had to work it out from a crappy picture, didn't have the proper plan, but as far as I can make out, I've done it accurately. Now, I don't know if this track works, okay, I laid it out to see so that I could measure. That is going to be built and ready for him for his birthday. Now, I went out yesterday, bought another 8 by 4 sheet of um, plywood, 9mm ply. So I went out yesterday, bought a sheet of 8 by 4 foot 9mm ply. Okay, this is going to have that on it. And it's going to be cut and sized to fit this. Now this is one of those under bed spare beds, yeah? It slides under the bed. Now I found this, well I say I found it. Somebody was um, emptying a property and they left it out with Freed of Good Home and I thought that came in handy, right? So this can go out of the way, so my mum can't moan. Look, you've got your little wheels, little cast wheels, that's bust. So is that one, but we can replace wheels, I'm sure. Okay, and you've got the little fold up legs, you see? So I can use that framework, and that will be Dad's easily put away layout. I'll tell you what, this, this damp, I'm sorry, it just makes me look like I live in some sort of, sort of um, derelict building, but it's not, I'm waiting for it to dry out. So anyway, so that's the plan. There you go, so I've laid it on and edged it up. Okay, that's fitted nice. And some light on the subject. There you go, I've marked with a pencil. Ready, so what I've got to do now is saw all of that. Nightmare. Anyway, this will, however, give me an eight foot piece here, which I can use as a backboard scenery for my own layout. So I'm not going to have scrap wastage. Also got a bit there, so I can do stuff with it. That's step two. Done. Cut the size. There you go. The reason why I don't live with a woman. <laughs>